Setting up SSL and configuring devices for Cloud C2, this time on Hack5. Hello and welcome to Hack5, I'm Darren Kitchen and on this dose of Technolust we are picking up where we left off with the previous episode on setting up your own Hack5 Cloud C2 server so you can manage all of your Hack5 uh, devices remotely and now we're going to add SSL and configure some devices. So if we just dive right in and take a look where we left off, we're here with our new you know, VPS that we set up in our Amazon light sale for like $3.50, whoop. And uh, we've just gone ahead and you know given it a static IP over there and we've connected to it over SSH and we have our Cloud C2 server running and we've logged in and we don't have any devices enrolled. So. What I'm going to do is show you what it looks like to add those devices and also how to configure this with SSL, which is the proper way to do things. Now, mind you, if all you're trying to do is quick and dirty get this thing going, that's fine. You could probably stop here. Uh, this does not impact the security between the device that you implant, be it a you know, land turtle or, or you're rocking a, um, a shark jack or whatever else that you take to the client site, all of that communications is done with AES encryption. So it doesn't matter what the mechanism by which it communicates to the Cloud C2 server is. Uh, so regardless of whether or not you use the HTTPS option, the endpoint device security between those two, that's secure. However, as we know, you're logging into a cloud system using HTTP, probably not the greatest between you, the pen tester, and your box in the cloud. So, you know, I'm going to show you the, the right way to do this. Uh, but let me just real quick talk about adding devices. So basically, from the devices tab, you know, you're encouraged to go ahead and add a device. We're going to give, uh, we're going to choose the screen crab because I already have one set up here. And we're going to give it a name like Mr. Krabs. Why not? And there you go. You, you get your device, you click into it, you get this new tab, and you have all your options here. Now, this device isn't online, so none of these options we can configure yet. And to get it online, it's a matter of clicking Setup, and then it prompts you to download this file. This file, device.config, is the provisioning file that's going to be the same no matter what the device is. So if you're setting up a land turtle or a Wi-Fi pineapple or a key croc, it's going to be the same device.config and you just put it on that device. Now, where you put it in that device and how you put it on the device varies ever so slightly differently. For the most part, it's the same across Wi-Fi pineapple, land turtle, packet squirrel. Um, same thing going with the shark jack and the signal owl. You just have to use a C2 connect command in your payload for those. Uh, and uh, screen crab and key crack are a little bit different, but not too dissimilar. You just copy the file to the root of their, well, SC card or U disk. But in any event, uh, that's it. When, if the file's there, it's configured, it's going to reach your server. Uh, and this is what it's going to look like when that's all said and done. So I already have, you know, uh, turkey baked, and this is a Cloud C2 server that already has HTTPS, and I have indeed our little uh, Mr. Krabs here. And in fact, if we go into the configuration tab, we see we've got him set up for streaming, the device LED is on, you know, we can change the intervals and all the different modes and stuff. And if we come down here, we can actually see Mario riding Yoshi. Uh, you'll understand why in a moment. If I come over to loot, we can view the various loot. And if that's not a dead giveaway of what's connected to this here uh, key crock, then honestly, I don't know what is, but you know, you need you need little devices to test out uh, to test out your things. Did I call this a key crock? No, this is clearly a uh, uh, it's a <laughs> we have so we have so we do this in development. We're like the key squirrel crock turtle pineapple. It's a uh, uh, Mr. Crab. It's a crab. It's a screen crab because it gets screen grabs. Oh my gosh. All right, I've clearly lost it. Um, so let's go ahead and set up SSL. I've done enough rambling. Uh, so all we're going to do is um, I'm going to continue this demonstration using some common infrastructure. Uh, clearly, we've already, you know, we're building on using our AWS system. So we have a really cool Leet Cloud C2 server yo up in Amazon's light sale because it's cheap and easy. Uh, you're also going to need a domain because you can't have HTTPS or SSL slash TLS without a domain. 
So get yourself a domain. You may have heard me mention registrars in the past. I'm sure you've got your favorite as well. Uh, it's going to really vary depending on that. Um, I happen to have one just laying around my Google domains account that I am um, clearly trying to figure out what to use this year as DEF CON is canceled and that means it's going to impact good old SlushyCon. But for the moment, I can use slushycon.com for um, for this server because I just have this domain laying around. So if I go to DNS, you know, it's uh, the name server is managed by Google, which makes it easy for me. Again, this is going to vary depending on your registrar. But all you really need to do is add an A record with the IP address of your server. And we've already, you know, determined in this case, our server has the IP address 122.17.31. So we pop that in there, get rid of all that HTTP stuff, just the IP address. We add, oh, <laughs> I did that wrong, sorry. We leave this, we paste it in the field that says IP version 4. See, I can read too. Uh, the at just go, is going to mean it's the root of this domain and that's fine. We don't want www.slushycon, we just want slushycon.com. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. And there we go. Now, uh, Google's gonna say this is gonna take 48 hours. It's not 1995. Their name servers sync pretty quickly. We're gonna move on if we run into a synchronization issue. We'll, just fast forward with the magic of video editing and pretend like it didn't happen. So with that said, let's actually take a look at the configuration. Now that we've added an A record on a domain pointing to our server in the cloud running cloud C2. Now, if you remember from the script we ran before, essentially what we did was set a IP variable with whatever the output of check ip.amazonaws.com is. And we can see when we echo that we get the public IP address. And essentially to run Cloud C2 community, we just ran the binary with TAC hostname, that IP address, and TAC listen IP, that IP address. Instead, this time, uh, what we're going to do is run C2 community Linux 64. And for hostname, we're going to give it slushy, S-L-U-S-H-Y con.com. And then we're going to give it one more flag, HTTPS. And that's it. The rest of it is going to be done for you because what's happening behind the scenes is uh, Cloud C2 is going to use Let's Encrypt to go ahead and create a certificate for you. And um, you know, if you of course have your own certificate and you want to just you know provide your own key files and cert files and pem files and things of that nature, you can look into the you know help entry for C2 community and see that it's just a matter of additional parameters. But honestly, I've been very happy with the Let's Encrypt certificate. So I'm going to go with that. And of course, I ran into an error. And uh, can you uh, imagine why? Yes, bind permission denied, of course, because we are now listening on uh, port 80. So I have to prefix this with sudo. All right, that's running. Now we just come over to slushycon.com. It's going to say that the connection is not private. But if we come to it in an incognito window, it does not complain. So again, that's a caching issue and not something I'm going to get too terribly worried about because essentially it's going to go away over time. There's magic happening behind the scenes that's outside of the scope of this video. Suffice it to say, wait or open incognito, try a different browser, it's going to work. All right, so now we can log in. And just like before, we can set up our devices. So that device is pointed to a, a different server that I had running in the cloud. Now, if I wanna move it to this one, I just move that device.config file and, and reboot our little friend over here so that we can get our Mario on. So that's setting up HTTPS on Cloud C2 in a nutshell. Like I said, if you want to get more nitty gritty and actually provide your own key files, you can go ahead and do that with these parameters here. Uh, and with that, I'd love to hear your feedback on this. Let me know in the comments below. I will hit you guys here soon with even more content as we start setting up additional devices from our shark jacks to our key crocs to everything else in between. Uh, with that, I'm Jaron Kitchen, trust your technolust.
Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and Pentest products at hack5.org.